Hi everyone, this is our last stop as part of the Stratford Narrow Builders Association Parade of Homes. As you can see by the sign, it's Matt Feeney. It's Feeney Design Build. And we are back in Mitchell, 198 Napier Street here in Mitchell. And the one thing before we head inside, I wanted to comment on, I love his decision of the stone. It is so stunning. And one other thing I was gonna mention, I was chatting with Matt before, is that where Napier Street is situated, if you look across the street, you see beautiful trees, absolutely gorgeous trees and uh, from what Matt tells me is that the people that own that have no plans of selling that anytime soon um, so those trees are here to stay so it is this like beautiful integration into Mitchell but also into sort of an off the beaten path trail down the street where you feel like you're kind of in the countryside as well now we're all finished I was just saying hey good morning how's it going Matt um, we were just talking outside here how you mentioned to us about you had said the people across the way have no plans of selling yeah so there's probably not gonna be any future development I can't guarantee that but from what I've heard and what they've said it's gonna be left as horse pasture for for the short for them within the meantime yeah, I guess so. So, like, so picture this you are walking in this beautiful wooden door um, but I, I mean, out here, I don't feel like I'm, I'm going to shut the door. I don't feel like I'm a Mitchell, like on this street. I don't feel like oh. I'm out here, right? Like, I feel yeah. like I'm a, almost like countryside. Yeah, it's hard to believe you're in a 50-acre subdivision when you got the mature trees beside us and we got a tree out back and the trees across the way. So yeah, that's yeah, a nice feeling. So this is not, it's kind of your mo like a model, but for yeah, sale. For sale, yep. You can contact me or my realtor and uh, yeah, it's for sale and then we'll, try something else next door so and yep. I should also comment that Matt you've got you've got this lot here but uh, you might not have seen you've got uh, still a few more lots moving yep. down too yeah we've got two lots next door and uh, we're working on some multi-unit stuff up in uh, Atwood and then we're working on some land a couple lots in Milverton so our focus this year is a lot of West Perth North Perth type things so Yep. And I was also commenting on, I like, I love your, your style out front with the stone, yeah. the choice of selection of stone. Yeah, it was something different this year. We just, there was a lot of grays in the last couple of years. So this, my brick layer just gave this suggestion and we're like, let's roll with it. At first I wasn't too sure on it when you started to lay it, but when it was all complete with our soffit fascias and trims, it was it was a good combination yeah, so the match yep. the marriage of the stone and the wood and speaking of that too just the selection and colors who does all of your design do you do pick all the design so actually i teamed up with white wave designs is here in town and uh i just said to her i said i'm building the spec house she worked with our kitchen rebecca at wilmark and uh they just ran with it and all i had to do was check the box and go from there so yeah i didn't have any real selection here they picked the light fixtures all the kitchen, faucets, everything, we're just, yeah, I'm not, that's not my forte. Yours is the construction, yeah. the building yeah. of it, but they did such a great job. Uh, noticing in the cupboards, um, beautiful color, and this seems to be a trend right now in the coloring, not choosing white anymore or black anymore, but like this beautiful, I don't know what the, I don't even know if you call it like a gray, it's. Yeah, I'm. It's a, it's a yeah. beautiful color, but it marries so well yeah. with the dark tones yeah. of the railings and then the beautiful uh, wooden countertop here. And yeah. it just it just makes such a, it's such a great statement piece, right? Well, yeah, everybody, like, to me, the island's the focal point. You go to your friend's place, you go to the neighbors, We're where are you staying? Out. You literally, everybody <laughs> congregates right here, right? And yeah. they crowd around the kitchen so, area. And, yeah. So that's where we're like, this, and... A lot of builds we do, we try to get a four person island in just, yeah, you might as well use the space up, make this usable, like you don't want something small and then you and your spouse are trying to make dinner and you're fighting over elbow You're in my way, you're in my way. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's sort of our take and theory on kitchens and just, yeah. And then, yeah, just the same thing, uh, the designer picked the tops and everything and same thing, at first I'm like, butcher block but now that it's all in it's just like it matches it, it works all comes yep. together yeah that's the whole yep. like that whole butcher block like yep. can you cut I guess you'd want to get a cutting board on there too but it's yep. beautiful yeah so yeah so that's that's our kitchen I guess and yes same thing this is an Armstrong vinyl plank floor it's not your engineered or your hardwoods so 
seems to be the trend lately with our customers it's just yeah more people are going with vinyl because it's made it's it's very durable and yeah durability yeah. is yeah. huge and if you have pets too yep yeah. yeah with pets kids yeah easy kids to clean up. kids or yeah. pets <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah so no, I can that. definitely attest to that, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Um, looking out the backyard for a second, for, yeah. first off, I love the fact right at the sink with the window, you've got a great big window here to look yeah. out, and you said you've got a mature tree right yeah. back there too. So this lot really lucked out I with call it little- premium, I guess, I'm not too yeah. sure, but yeah. With this lot abutting on uh, mature housing and stuff like that, it just, yeah, it just, yeah, it makes it a, doesn't feel like you're in a subdivision, I guess. No, and the way the fence line it goes around that tree is just in a yep. perfect location yep. and you've got just a beautiful deck yeah, out here enough space decking too it's just yeah it doesn't really cost that much extra to put the extra five or ten feet on and actually make the deck useful so yeah when you got when when you're entertaining there's plenty of space out there so. yeah and then the other part i'm seeing here then anybody they can either put yeah. in lawn or they could even put in a little yeah. whatever the uh, i could see a hot tub out yeah, there exactly. i could see whatever you want to do plenty strong enough for a hot tub and all that stuff so yeah whatever you want yep. okay let's head over into down here we'll head into the master bathroom first off in here yeah. so master bathroom yeah that's your typical master bathroom it's a one-piece unit a nice vanity nice sink taps yeah just it's just simple clean white yeah just easy to clean and yeah go from there and then also right across yeah. here you've got access from the garage into um count yeah. you've got countertop you've got washing machines yeah. sink here here's a huge feature and i want you to look at this because you don't see this in many houses i love that yeah. you did this matt is that basement access from the garage everybody always wants it craves yeah. it and when you need if you have tools or something like that and yeah. you want to you're dirty you go that way well yeah basement access just something i always think is 100 like you need it you should have it first spec house or no second model home i ever built i thought that i wouldn't put one in and that's the model home they wanted the basement finish so the house is 100 percent complete and then all of a sudden you're trekking through the house with your drywall your tradesmen everybody's going through the house where then after that it, i'm like uh your garage accesses should be a must if you can fit it into your design I don't see it as much of an extra so it's like it's just so useful down the road so well it's yeah. so true i in our house we built a uh, part of my studio is yeah. in the lower level but that's the access clients come yeah, through exactly. now naturally it isn't wheelchair accessible but yeah. it it did allow that functionality yeah. so and i would never live without it whether yeah. it's someone with their tools like yeah. you said oh an unfinished basement like yeah. so you have an unfinished basement yeah. here yeah. let's step out of here and we'll yeah. go into the bedrooms for a second as we're talking about it but even you've got an unfinished yeah. basement so that's a perfect example yeah. of the ability to be able to hey you yeah. can live up here and play yeah. and, and all you're doing is really cutting off the access exactly. to your yep. you've got um and i can show you this too for a second we might as well be i might as well talk about this right now because we're here but you've got beautiful staircase you're going right here into the lower level into your basement basement isn't finished but as you were saying matt all you basically have to do is block off that yeah. and that's not impeaching on your no. standard of living at all no and that's we're designed for two bedrooms bathroom storage and a, just uh i would say probably a 15 by, or 20 by 30 rec room so it's huge yeah like, it's it is huge yeah. down there so it's unfinished and and we thought we would go down yeah. there today because it we it's still didn't quite... did, like we need to get the scrubber floor scrubbers in and stuff so i wasn't prepared to send people down there today but yeah it's yeah it's just huge because one thing we do is open web floor joist systems so you don't have a beam or a post every 15 feet it's a lot more wide open it's just makes the space so much more useful. So that is huge yep. too. I mean, yep. your costs are increased slightly, yep. but totally worth yeah. it because it just makes me think of even, you know, when we have perfect example, when we have our dinner yep. meetings at yep. the Queens, for yep. instance, yep. there's posts right Every, there, drives me crazy. Yeah, right? Exactly. And so basically the downstairs rec room would be this whole room here. So it's nothing like you can put a pool table. You don't have to worry about wall space. It's just wide open space for, Basically, whoever purchases this, they can do whatever they want down there. So, Perfect. yep. And so the driving force here would yeah. be, of course, we're not going to show it to you. You have to come into the open house, exactly. right? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, come to the open house here. I think we're having it the Friday before the 
the picnic and yes. yeah and you have open houses all oh, the time yeah. as well yeah we have open houses we're probably going to open house it pro i'd say every weekend now just yeah put somebody in here and just if we can't sell this one we can hopefully sell one of the lots next door so oh, this is gonna yeah. be you'll be somebody will yeah. be in here and then you'll have already yeah. had to have the orders and done by the yeah. end of the season for this exactly. i'm sure so, of it yeah. um yeah so we will be having the open house your rep will be here yeah. for on the friday right. and i'll put all the information up for that too so you can take a tour you have to really see it it is just if you like that mix of just, I've always loved Mitchell for this. It's it's just a little bit out of the busy city, yeah. um, out of the you you know you can go in and you can go f yeah. restaurants and not that there yeah. aren't restaurants here, but you can be in the hustle and bustle yeah. and then get out of town a little exactly. so to speak and come into yeah. a beautiful location. Yeah, like yeah, Mitchell's just a great spot. Yeah, we're close to Stratford. We're close to London. It's just yeah, yeah it's just. Yeah, it's a nice little it's that spot. That sweet spot, yeah. I always say. Yeah, yeah. It, whether it be. We've got some establishments here too that you don't have to leave town, but like, yeah, it's just, and it's close to Bayfield, close to God. Like, it's just, yeah, it's a sweet spot, basically. Yeah, yeah. and I would say it's just even yeah. a little bit closer. And yeah. living in London, I see the same thing too. So, and, so easy. And people aren't afraid to commute to Waterloo from here. Like, yeah. it's just, yeah. Well, the back roads are easy. Yeah, the back roads back are road. great. Yep, they're all paved right to Waterloo in London, so it's good. Yeah. So, yep. Okay, so before we go, let's take a look at the back rooms. We've done bathroom here, the main bathroom. We went into, I love this, the access in there, but that makes a huge difference, the access uh, yep. straight from the garage down. And then you've got your master bedroom yeah. in here. And then a great ensuite off of there. Okay, so let me get out of the way here. Yeah, so this is just the master bathroom, uh, or sorry, master bedroom here. And uh, yeah, just nice big size, no problem with a queen or a king size bed. And then, yeah, we've got a very large walk in closet. And yeah, you're on sweet. And, and a lot of beautiful natural yeah. light. And even here, looking here, yep. your neighbors aren't where you're situated. Yep. You don't have neighbors looking at you. Exactly, yeah. It's, yeah, it's not like you're. We go, hi, good morning. Yeah, exactly. yeah it's, it's so yeah. easy. Yeah. So, no, it's, yeah, it's a lot of natural light. And yeah, we're happy with this design. We've built it once before in Milverton. And uh, yeah, it just seems to work for, yeah. For pretty much anybody and then right adjacent to it you've got yeah. either another bedroom or, or a den yeah or den sewing room spot for the grandkids yeah it's endless you can do whatever you want there so perfect yeah. and i love your idea of like you you are finished fully up top here yeah. and then you decide what you want to do downstairs yeah. and it's easy access because yeah. you your trades everybody can go in through the garage yeah. so you can still live you can still do your thing um and then at the end of the day you you make that whatever you want to make yeah. it at the end yeah yeah so no it's we're happy with the way everything was picked here and yeah just <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else. Come for a tour come and take a look, here. and you have to yeah. come back here for yourself and have exactly. a look as well. Yep. So, okay, perfect. Thank you again. We're at 198 Napier, yep. and doesn't in Mitchell doesn't feel like you're out there. It's just, nope. and I love all the maturity around here with the greenery and that. Yep. You will feel right at home. Um, yep. Come out to the Saba picnic, of course, on Saturday, June 1st. Matt's going to be yep. there. You can have a conversation with Matt, um, and go from there. And yeah, either exactly. that or come out to the open house. Exactly. Come on out to the open house or. Get in contact with my representative and yeah. Away you go. Away you go. All right. Sounds okay. Good. Thank you, Matt. Well, thank you. Hopefully we'll see you at the Sabbath picnic. We'll be doing some broadcasting and live streaming from there as well. But we hope to see you in person and the Parade of Homes. This is actually, yep. this is our last stop. Oh, there you go. You are our last. The, we saved the best for last, <laughs> no, Matt. Sounds good. There we go. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Matt. Thank you. And again, it's the Stratford Area Builders Association Parade of Homes.